What's up, guys? Jake Miller here. What's going on? It's Logan Henderson. And you are watching the Zach Sang Show. We just did a long interview. Talked, talked about, about a bunch of stuff. Yes. Talked we about talked about conspiracy theories. Exactly. Into the world. What else? Fucking music. Yeah, exactly. looks like a troll. <laughs> exactly. New, hair. new music. New Anyways, music tour. just come on. Watch it. Go watch it. Swipe watch up or it. click somewhere. Let's do this. Logan Henderson, join the conversation. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Lost him for a bit. I just heard you guys needed an extra hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, <laughs> it's like we got hats. the memo today. Checker hat, boys. Wow, yeah. you all are rocking hats. Yeah, we planned it. Left the we'll get you one. Where were you, man? But, dude, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't until recently that my face got thin enough to work a baseball cap. I used to have too fat of a face to wear one. Okay. It, 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 like, like it's just a fat face, fat head. You never had a fat face. What are you talking about? I don't I've know. known you for like ten years. What you, I think what he's saying is his workout game is strong right now. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I've just matured <laughs> out, and and the fat from my face has just relocated to maybe like booby position. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, it all just falls. Yeah. Thigh <laughs> position. Pull that sucker into your face. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get in. Oh, yeah. There we go. You sound good. Well, hello. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Logan Henderson. Good to see you. The two of you going on the road. We are absolutely. Is it like? Okay, how are we prepping for this bad boy? Like, you obviously, you, you both have done tours forever. Yeah. You've been going consistently f for, like, long, long time. You've done almost so many different markets all over the world, crowds of all sizes. Yeah. But when was your last tour, though? Been a sec? It's been a minute. You know, we've been doing, like, the, the radio run, so that's been kind of, like, little stops here and there. Yeah. But an actual tour, I mean, it's been a, it's been a while. Yeah. You're got to get in shape. <laughs> We're going to work out. Got to get back in shape. Yeah. Is, is that really the goal here? Like, I think you, so. I'd you, love to. Yeah. I, I think we're going to get like some weights and like bring them in like the actual. I'm, I'm venue. huge on, on working out and like keeping yeah. your body healthy on tour because really it it can it can be hard on your on your body. For sure. Yeah. Is, is that really the key, right? Like, is that one of the big, I don't want to say tricks, but like keys to being being able to put on a show every day and I mean really in some cases some people do four or five shows a week you know? absolutely yeah we're, we're, gonna, gonna, we're gonna be voice. doing that many we'll yeah. be doing four or five a week I think. yeah and a lot of traveling so in order for me to drink the amount of tequila I want <laughs> I have to I have to work out so it helps but booze is also not good for the vocal cords I hear it's not everything in moderation for sure Th yeah. that's the key or gym or gym or both you know yeah <laughs> have a little fun have a little work you know, all <laughs> kind of I hear gin is out. okay for the vocal cords. Yeah. That's the rumor. Do you drink before shows or after? I'll have like, if anything, I'll have like one before show. Yeah. Yeah. I usually take like one or two shots for the show. Just loosen me up a little bit. Just, a, yeah. A shot of whiskey. Or yeah. Can't hurt. A shot of tequila. You know, it right. makes you have more fun. It's like being on stage is so much fun to begin with. So like an extra shot, it's like, damn. It's like. I feel like that's kind of the music I make anyways. It's kind of for like sure. You, you want to kind of hang out and just kind of let loose. 100%. Imagine me getting drunk here before we started this. It'd be a disaster. I thought you were drunk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, nothing, I, th I thought you were drunk this whole time. <laughs> That's uh, uh, really nothing would get accomplished. Um, but see, obviously, everything in moderation, key. When you're doing this show, are we doing live band? Are we doing tracks here? How are we like putting this show on? How are we giving the people what they want? I think for both of us, it's a mix of both. I yeah. Mean, we care a lot about you know, live instruments and, and, and live music. But yeah. um, I think tracks kind of go into anything that you yeah. see nowadays. For sure. Yeah, my, my bass player is going to trigger the tracks and then I have a bass player and a drum player over it. That's pretty... Like, and then I'll be doing keys. But that's pretty, like, tight, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. It's a tight little crew. Are we bussing this sucker or are we uh, doing vans? We're bussing. Yeah, he's yeah. bussing and then I'm going to kind of do fly dates and stuff. So that'll be good for me. I get to do some work, you know, in between and... Yeah, I'm probably fun. gonna get sick on the bus from all the contaminated air conditioning. So I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I, I, I'm. I wish we were flying. So yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. It, it helps sometimes. Every time I'm on a tour bus, every single time I get sick. Like last time, I ended up in the emergency. Is, is room. that? Oh, really? Yeah. Because it's like ten guys. All really dirty, no. all smelly. Recycled air. Sometimes we don't shower. In <laughs> so a come day. see us on tour. Yeah, so come see uh, us on tour. We're gonna be great. <laughs> no, but uh, I, it's it, it is like you keep um what is it humidifier? Do you yeah, keep one of those in there. I tried it's, to it's, I tried to do that in the last one, but I don't think it did anything. Gotta do it. It's yeah. the only way to keep your because you get dried out so easy. Yeah, for sure, hundred percent. Oh my god, that sounds like my worst nightmare to live on a bus. It's like fun that? for like the first week, and then it's like, all right, we need to clean this bus out. We need to shower. <laughs> I don't want to see. Do I don't want to see your face. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's a lot. But dude, when you were on a bus, how many people were on a bus when you were riding with Big Time Rush? Too many. Yeah, like probably six. I mean, it's at least the four of us. Actually, towards the end of the tours, we had we split two and two, which was which was oh, cool. That's luxury. But we that was that was it was a really fun time. It was it was nice. And so every now and again, we the band had a bus as well. So you know, if I got tired of somebody, <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to see bus. Kendall. I just go over and hang out with the band. Mm-hmm. So it was. And it was cool. It was a good time. By the way, I did notice you are wearing Nickelodeon orange today. It's pretty orange. It is. It's, I think that's a little. Somebody darker. outside was like, "Did you? Yeah, did you just get out of jail?" I was like, "Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I did." It's fashion, dude. Yeah, man, I'm enjoying it. So you're doing this tour while working on an EP, right? Because you do have a record coming in April. Yeah, the EP is done. Yeah, um, April twelfth is gonna be end of the world. I don't think I've officially said it, but end of it's the out. world. End of the world. I've heard it. What? It's good. Is it about the end of the world? You know what's funny is I was, I was uh, watching uh, big on Netflix. So like when I go home and just chill, that's I mean you know got to watch all my shows. So uh, they have a show called End of the F-ing World. It's a great show. Yeah, it is. It's an awesome show. And so I was just kind of inspired by it. So I went to the studio the next day and I was like, I got this idea. Like these two characters really kind of just like fascinated me. And um, yeah, the lyrics just kind of started going from there. And it's kind of that's loosely what it's based off of. I feel like that's your approach to writing, if I remember correctly from all the conversations, and even with this example, you you really are like a, you have a theatrical mind, right? You have a story mind. Is that the actor side of you that allows you to take a look at characters and dissect them on a deeper level to then write about them? I think so. Yeah, absolutely. It's something I've always been fascinated with, and I mean, my imagination is, is pretty wild at times, um, which I feel pretty thankful for, because it, it really does kind of allow me to um see stuff differently and i i think about music and, and colors as well so it like i it's it's nice to have like a visual mind and see kind of like how you want it to play out in in this moment like you're seeing two characters in a tv show and you're able to understand all them and what they're going through and their motivations and, yeah, and how it kind of uh, relates to me and the story yeah. that i want to tell so it's but, not exactly like that that the show can be a bit dark, but it, there, there's some like, there's kind of like that back and forth between these two characters in the song. But I do feel like that's like the actor side of you, because like, what do you do? You read a script and you figure out what a part of yourself. Absolutely. You could put into this. Yeah. It's, I don't know, just really fascinating parallel. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the way the, do you find yourself tapping into things that you learned on set in this music journey of yours that's on your own? Yeah, absolutely. Um, all the time. I think it's kind of what, has built my character and my vision for the music now, um, which I feel extremely um, thankful for. Because I think when you're young, it's, you know, there's so many things that we were thrown into and it really kind of forced us to, you know, find a vision and find a voice. Mm. And so, yeah, I, I love that it's kind of stayed with me this whole time. Well, this EP, dude, yeah. do we have a date on the EP? Not a date just yet. I'm going to still release another couple singles after that, but um, hopefully, well, Hopefully while we're on the road. You played me a really cool song at my house like two days or two weeks ago. Well, I don't know if you want to say the name of it, but it, like, it was super like Justin Timberlake-y. Don't say the name. Yeah. It was super <laughs> cool. Do, yeah. do you dance on stage? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely move. Oh, I don't. Shit. You don't? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's all him. Do you, oh, man, I move around. Yeah. No, nah, I'm not dancing. I, dude, I, I get to be a little like gypsy with it. I'm just sure. like, if I'm feeling the music, I'm just like, I'm just like in it. You vibe? I didn't say it was good. <laughs> I didn't say it was good, but it's it's definitely like it's a vibe. Well, that was my question. Like, is it a vibe and an energy, or is it choreography? No, it's not choreography. It's all about feeling, and I think that's kind of why music has has lent itself to be more like that. I think a choreography for like a video or something would work, but yeah, yeah I'm not really like a. It's it, it's a little bit more rock and roll. That's kind of how I feel about it. End of the world. When you have this idea from the TV show, who do you go to with that idea? Do you have producers that you've been working with? I have a yeah, I have a tight knit group. It, Definitely a very cool crew and people who have, um, you know, allowed me to do what I want and have really kind of like backed me up and who really kind of believe in me and believe in the project. And um, yeah, incredibly blessed. It's pretty exciting, right? To like have an idea for a record and call up people that don't turn you down or yeah, shoot you they're down. Not like, hey, this is pretty much trash. Yeah. No, they're like, let's 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 find a way to really kind of see what we're saying. And so I usually come in with a few ideas. I don't like showing up empty-handed. Um, and that one just kind of stuck. And everybody was like, yeah, it's a it's a cool idea. I was like, there we go. The title gets me. Yeah. End of the world. Yeah. Do you know what you do? Like, I, I sometimes think if there's, like, a zombie apocalypse or there's a giant epidemic or if there's... Are you a, into, like, all the conspiracy theories and all that stuff? Are you... Dude, like, I, I want to... Like, I can't fully go too deep into it because I know I'll get 
I'll drown in it yeah. and I'll wrap myself into it and I'll really start being on high alert all the time. Mm-hmm. He's like packing his whole house with like yeah. <laughs> doomsday preppers like and bunker. stuff. When we yeah. thought that there was going to be a nuke coming our way, like just recently over the last like year, I knew exactly what I was going to do. I researched exactly where my building I should go. I had it all down pat. Yeah. Seriously. And then Absolutely. I did the same thing no for my No more jokes mom. like that ever. What? Just the nuke thing. Like, oh. how about never do that? Dude, <laughs> That's terrifying. Yeah. It's the, but the fact that like it, we, the fact that we had to get to a point where I was seeing articles on the internet saying what to do if, right, and that was like number one trending on Twitter, so people were looking at it. Freaks me out. But I knew exactly what the f- to do. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, are you like, end of the world? Do you know what you do? Are you a like? Zombies are coming. Illness is on its way. Do you just let it take you, or do you fight? I don't, I mean... That's my constant thought. I guess it depends on what it is, but I think you just keep on dancing, keep on... We're all going out at some point. Yeah. We're, no, no one's cheating that, so it's like, hey, if, it, if it's time to go, then it's time to go. I feel you on that. Yeah. I've always thought that, Enjoy like, it. if the world was really going to end, like, I, w- I think I would want to see it. Like, when I'm, like, 80 years old, like, I would love to see it. I just want to see what it would look like. W- w- and then I go over? tell all my friends. Yeah, uh-huh. why not? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll take a picture and share <laughs> yeah, it on cool. Instagram. Hey, you guys are not gonna believe it. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, it's just like you're not curious to see what it would look like. Hey, beautiful human. I'm sorry for the interruption, but me and my friend Marissa are obsessed with Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is amazing because I don't know what looks good on my body. But uh, Stitch Fix does. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that finds and delivers clothes, shoes, and accessories to fit your body, budget, and lifestyle. Just go to stitchfix.com slash Zach Sang and tell them your sizes, what style you like, and how much you want to spend. Then they'll hook you up. Like, they'll give you clothes personally curated to you, your body, your budget. It's pretty amazing. You're going to be paired with your own personal stylist personal. They're going to handpick items and send them right to your door. Then you try them on, pay only for what you love, and then you return the rest. Shipping exchanges and returns, they're always free. There's no subscription required. You can sign up to receive your scheduled shipments or get your fix whenever you want. Stitch Fix styling fee is only 20 bucks, which is applied to anything in your order that you end up keeping. So you're really not even paying for the stylus. It's pretty cool. Get started now at stitchfix.com. Slash Zach Sang, and you're gonna get an extra 25% off. That is stitchfix.com slash Zach Sang. You're gonna get 25% off stitchfix.com slash Zach Sang. You're gonna look good. Okay, back to the combo. Okay, so you're saying you're gonna fight? No, I would just be like, oh, this is it's happening. We're dying. I live my life, we all lived our life. This is it's happening yeah, after all these years. Fill me up. Yeah, <laughs> for Going sure. Down toast. For sure. Going down together. Yeah. Like, you think it's just gonna be like this? No. Or you think No, like, I think it's gonna be a slow that's what I'm saying. I, I think some will die sooner than other. It's gonna be a whole thing. Okay, then maybe that wouldn't look so that yeah. wouldn't look so cool. This conversation's I, env- I envision dark. something just like <laughs> I know. Yeah, I envision like the whole sky just getting black and then we all just kinda like lights out. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. I'm down with it. Like whatever. Take me out. Yeah. When, when, that's what I'm saying. When you're writing this record, are you envisioning how the world's ending? Or is it just that it's ending? Um you know what? It's more of it's more of kind of a love story so it's like uh-huh. at the end of the day if you have that one special person and like you guys are at each other you know sometimes you can't figure shit out and it gets tough like relationships are tough you go through different waves but at the end of the day like you love them no matter what like there'd be nobody else with you except for that other person you know oh yeah that, and bring this back to a positive life, you know? <laughs> i yeah. want that yeah are you playing a lot of these new songs on tour i'm playing a couple okay yeah absolutely i, I like releasing music on tour first of all because people are going to get the music anyways and it's nice to see Im- immediate reaction so that one whenever I, I the first time i played that was at some radio show and i was like hey, i want to play a new song for you guys is that all right of course they're like yeah one person just the phone the slow oh. like little light and everybody was just like during the song and i was like okay i think this song's doing what i wanted it to so it's one of those yeah yeah absolutely wow i haven't had like a true kind of ballad um, so this is kind of like my first true ballad for myself. Ever, really? Like yeah. even going back to BTR, like I, there was no real ballads back. We had then. a couple, yeah. We did one. We did one with um, Tricky in the Dream, that was um, called No Idea, and that was it's very Michael. It's like really beautiful, um, and that one was kind of like our ballad. But yeah, this one is a little different. You guys did harmonize really f-ing well. We did. 
<laughs> I'm hearing them in my head. We, I mean, we're gonna have to do a song on tour. Oh, for sure. Like, We've we'll been thinking of uh, songs to cover on tour. What, what? What? Where are we at? What are the options? Um, we were talking about maybe like a Post Malone, and then we were talking about maybe like an actual like old school song. Yeah. But I don't think we've. We should probably figure it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tour is right around the corner. It's yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we got like. <laughs> I got 10 rehearsals days. this weekend, so yeah, I'll, I'll be. I'll be we'll figure something that. out. Yeah. <laughs> We're both musicians. I feel like we get an acoustic guitar and we can figure something out in like an hour or so. Just do like a day of. For like, sure, for sure. Today? Or maybe we just switch up the cover every day. I, yeah, I like that. Could be cool. We could easily do that. Look at that. Everybody must go now because. Yes, just because <laughs> of that. Different set potentially. Everyone must go. Every show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'd be cool. Wow. This is a. I like the vibe here. I've seen the two of you hanging out on Instagram too. That that, well, that was almost. That was almost. That bad. was almost. Really yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're cool. <laughs> Whose idea was it to tour together? I think we both kind of just said, "Hey, this makes sense." You know, I We're think friends. somebody had suggested it, and we were like, "Not mad at it." Yeah. Yeah. It was, <laughs> Like not mad, <laughs> Damn, not mad at it. The worst I idea. didn't fully. Yeah, <laughs> I, could, I could do it. Yeah, yeah, I guess sure, I could okay. do it. Yeah, it'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun. Let's go on tour. <laughs> no, uh, we're, we've known each other for a long time. We've done shows together, radio shows, and now we're on the same label, which is even cooler. So good energy, you know, great talent, and I thanks, think just man. overall a good time. Thank you, man. Yeah. Right back at you. So it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna put on the best show you've ever seen. So well, if you don't go, you're up. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That, that was quite a statement. Yeah. Well, I'm, you said f earlier, so now I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, say. No, no, it. not the f word. You're saying it's the best show you're ever gonna see. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a great fun. Show. Yeah, well, absolutely. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be the best ever. Now I'm gonna have to El go. Elroy Theater. Yeah, you're there. Oh, I'll be there. Come on. You have to. Come. And I'll make it very known if it's the best I've ever seen. Okay. To you well, personally, not publicly. All right. <laughs> I only compliment people publicly. Okay. Yeah. Well, but, it's gonna be a great show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, by, by the way, I It'd was going to go regardless. <laughs> okay, good. It's going to be fine. It'd be fine. Come on. Come yeah, on. You have a good time. Don't <laughs> f just, enough, okay? Just, It'd be fine. Just smile. Hey, do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of miss Heather. Oh. A lot of people miss Heather. Shout out to Heather. You think she watches these? She's no. Like, no she's at way. home like, just, like crying. No. I don't we think she's you, crying. Heather. She chose to go back to New Jersey. Yeah. Every now and again, you need some space. You need some yeah. time away. Yo, we were together for a long time. Truth. And, uh, you know, she found love through our show, and she's ha having a whole life in New Jersey. How'd she find love through your show? One, she ended up like, getting into a really long-term relationship with one of our interns. <laughs> oh, my God. Still together. Yeah, Look but, at you guys. But, like, oh, that's, what's up? How long ago now? Five years ago? Uh, probably about s almost six years ago. Approaching well, six I've years. I've known you six, so you made five and a half. Wow. Yeah. Good for her. Wow, yeah. Well, anyways, miss you, Heather. But they all love Everyone's New Jersey. Up. <laughs> right before our eyes. Growing up, <laughs> knew Heather when she was this big. Now she's married. She has kids. <laughs> End of the world. That drops the twelfth. April twelfth. Got it. EP. Yes. Soon to follow. Don't. I don't. I don't know what date. That's don't. fine. <laughs> Do you know the story you're telling with this EP? Uh, EP is. So it's part two. It's got a so, long name, right? It's a really long name. What is uh, it? Echoes of departure and the endless tree of dreams. Of course. I was like, do I even remember it? <laughs> no, it's a long, it's a long title, but um, yeah, part two is coming out. Some of it, some of the, like the same content, but from different, a different point of view. Cool. Yeah, so it'll be cool. Musically, it's it's definitely a little different. Wait, same content? Do you mean same? Some some of the same stories, but it kind of was like a little fun for me in the studio to kind of write a different point of view from what that was. Are you taking the different? Are you taking the point of view of somebody? L watching? Yeah, it could be. Uh, this gets to back to another little, yeah, like, actory thing. But yeah, just kind of seeing things. Kind of, it's nice to be able to take a step back. So you write things, and it is almost therapeutic for me. But because I'm so in it, I sometimes it doesn't quite. Sometimes some of that stuff is missed, yeah. and so yeah, it was kind of just an interesting thing for me to have some of the same stories, but a, a different, a different kind of spin on it, different point of view. By the way, uh, like again, I think something only an actor could do, hey. or I mean. That's just the way it is. Yeah, I hear different stories. Sam Smith writes like that too. Yeah. He has this, he can like really take himself <laughs> out of himself and put himself into somebody else. It's pretty impressive. But, Absolutely. But literally, it's what an actor does, right? Yeah. You come out of yourself and you let. And I think as far as like a live performer, you were mentioning Sam Smith and I also saw Adele and they, they carry this like same thing as each night they're singing the same songs on tour, but it's almost a little different story each time you hear it. Whatever place they're in, like I love the idea of that. Each time you sing it should be just a very specific and a little bit different. And it's the motion it's the emotion they give. Totally. And it's not it's not the change of lyrics, right? It's positions no. of runs, it's feeling of certain lines. It's where you are at that moment yeah. in time. Yeah. It's very genuine. Absolutely. 
it's cool. It's really cool to hear you making really genuine, true to you music, and it's yeah. paying off. Obviously, it's well. Good you shit. haven't heard it yet. You guys might be well, like, no, this, this, is, is, this is completely. <laughs> shit. What I've heard before is great, and it's it's it sets the tone. It sets the bar at a nice level for you to come in and keep kicking ass. I appreciate it, man. Thank and, you. End of the world, April twelfth. You got it. No date on the EP, but I, it's coming. It's, it's soon coming. to follow. Yeah, singles will be released right after. I will. We're getting our stuff together. I won't pressure you. What are you thinking over there, Dan? Does this uh, Jonas Brothers reunion inspire you guys? <laughs> BTR? You know, I've been talking, dude, just DM after DM. I know, I've seen him. So I, I don't know, like, hey, I it's a 10 year reunion. I don't think I, I'll say too much on wow. it, but it is 10 years. Oh. What What yeah. about one performance? Why don't you come here on my show? What if it's a few? What if, What if? yeah, what if it's what just a few in like the like major cities? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like sounds like, sounds like this here. is happening. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not saying it's happening. It's fine, okay? I'll it do it. It's fine. <laughs> All right? It'll be fine. You gonna twist my arm? <laughs> okay, huh? It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying it. Yeah, you never know. Here's the deal. I am 100% supportive of different tour stops around the country. Limited run. I'm gonna be there, singing boyfriend, right? You were there, you were there from the from the get go, man. You've been there from the beginning. Yeah, literally. I mean, yeah, long time. Loved every second of watching you guys rise and freaking own so many different types of venues over the years. Yeah, and I've seen the show in so many different types of forms: acoustic, acapella, freaking full production. There's freaking metal rigging behind you, and you're jumping from thing to thing. It looks yeah, like yeah. some industrial park parkour shit. It was parkour. Yeah. Hardcore parkour. <laughs> Dude, I've seen the show in all different <laughs> vibes. Yeah. Do the tour. Do it. 100% in. We'll be there. Hey, you never know. If it doesn't happen, and even if it does happen, all of you need to be in this studio. Hang out with me. Give me give me 30 minutes. Um, I'll call him up. You call him up. I'll call him up. You call him up. I know up. a guy. Yeah, call him. Him. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Get a text going. On. <laughs> but that's cool. I'm glad that there's some sort of inspiration and some ideas floating around about bringing you guys back. And I'm inferring, of course. That. You said nothing. Love. I mean, he said a lot without saying much. That's exactly. the point. Love. Love. Mm -hmm. Love. Love. Are we saying we love each other or are like. we just saying love? You're okay. Uh, <laughs> no, we love, right? no, I, I love, love Dan. You. I love you guys. And I love, love your hair. Thank you. And you shouldn't hide it. And uh, Jake should dye his hair blonde. No. Everyone out there, convince him to do it. I'll no. pay for that if you want. No, I can, I can afford it. It's not that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I've, I, I've seen the car. Yeah. <laughs> no, not uh, that. What, How much is dyeing your hair? Like, what? I, I don't even know. Huh? Oh, it cost what, me like four, fifty bucks, like five hundred bucks. I don't even know. Four hundred dollars to get his hair. Oh, dyed. really? And we want. She wanted to charge us five. Wait, are you kidding? I haggled. It was five hundred dollars. I didn't pay for it. He I, gave it I was haggled worth it. from five to four. Wow. Yeah, don't cross me. I think it looks good. Thank you. It's a statement. I, just, I don't. Hair. I don't have the balls to do it. I wish I. I, 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 I wish I did. Hair. I think I'm, I'm ready to. What are you gonna do? Something. How much hair you got under there? Yeah. You got enough? <laughs> oh, oh, you got more. He's got a lot. Yeah, you guys kind of have like the similar length. Oh no, you got longer. Yeah, yeah you got a lot on the sides. He's a little more trollsish. Trollsish. Yeah, I look just like that troll over there. No, I mean that's not a compliment. No, no, okay. Well, you take care of yourself. However you, however you take it, I guess. Oh my god. Yeah, there god. we go. See? Wait, is that why you have them? No. I've had him for a long time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Brother. I do kind of look like oh my a troll right god. now. Oh my god. Your face looks more like uh, the troll face than the hair, dude. Yeah. Your nose and the way. I right, see. I didn't say something that bad. I mean, he's really going. He's just roasting you, know. you right now. No, but like where the where the wrinkles are, like. Oh, he's saying the you know, wrinkles. Did we, did we consider smile? maybe doing the eyebrows also? We didn't, but like we considered doing something else. Okay, but you, yeah, you should. <laughs> Ew. Here's your whole. <laughs> dude, dirty, dirty man. We gotta go. But anyway, can you, can you just smile next to the troll so we can get that shot? That's the last. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach saying, I love you. I'm out of here. I'm leaving too. Can you come back for the EP? I will. Thank I will. you. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, please subscribe and also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description and also comment and like and do things. Other interviews are on the screen somewhere, so click them. Thanks for watching.